What's up guys, Bajiri here. I got some of my chest workout from the other day to share with you. So, slowly but surely my, my pushing strength is getting back up there. Um, for a long time, I used to just go to the gym and bench, like every day. At least that's what I was doing when I was, when I was younger, when I was just sort of getting into fitness. I, I've always loved going to the gym, and bench has always been one of my favorite exercises. So I used to just bench every day. And as a result of that, I feel like I had a pretty strong bench. At least a strong foundation. And then about two years ago, when I first sort of started taking my training in the gym to a more bodybuilding style, I used that foundation and eventually pushed my bench up to 315. And if you guys have been following the channel and my fitness progress over the years or months or so, you guys know that I did diet down for, you know, that, I guess eight months. And throughout the course of that dieting phase, I did lose a good bit of strength. Now I have since then rebuilt a lot of my lifts. My deadlift has gone way up. I did hit a new max in deadlift. I've reached my all time squat PR and will probably be setting a new PR soon. What I have not done though, is I have not been able to get back to 315 on bench since I did diet down. However, as you'll see today, I don't think I'm all that far off. I definitely am getting stronger on all the lifts leading up to 315. And not just stronger by being able to push the weight and having it like, fe like feel easier, I don't know, in perceived effort level or whatever. I feel like I have more control over the whole lift. The weight goes up easier, I feel more secure, I feel more solid. And that's what I want to feel like. Because lifting heavy weight is satisfying and it's exhilarating. And I'm really, really proud of myself when I am able to lift more weight than I've ever been able to lift before. But having control over the weight and being able to target the exact muscles or muscle groups that I want to be involved in the lift, put those muscles under time under tension and allow them to grow. But of course, as you get stronger, you get to use that time under tension method with increasingly heavier weight, you know, which I definitely feel like helps me grow. But it's also just a lot of fun and really motivating to me to, you know, lift up some heavy weights. So that's what I'm doing here today. Starting off my uh, my chest workout with just some flat bench. As you guys saw, I started with 185, kind of the, once I'm exiting my warm up with just the bar and 135, I just go ahead and start with 185, then I go up to 205, then I start my six sets of six at 225. However, after the first three sets of six at 225, I decided to tack on a five on both sides because it was feeling pretty easy. So for the last three sets, I went ahead and lifted the 235 for six reps each. And I think I've talked about this before, is that when something is feeling a little bit easy, but I don't really want to increase the weight so much that I cut down on reps, I'll just tack little five pound weights on there just to give myself a little bit more to work with without really noticing a huge increase in the amount of weight. So once I got done with my sets of 225 and 235, went ahead and bumped it up to 245. And now with 245, I'm only going for uh, four reps here. Didn't have Jenny here spot me today, so I wasn't quite going for broke as I sometimes might if I have a spotter. Just trying to get my four sets of four reps in and call that good. Now something that scares people who haven't spotted me before is I have a really, really slow burn to these lifts. Like on that last one, you'll you'll notice that like, you know, it was looking like it was going up pretty slow and it does. I don't have a whole lot of fast twitch explosive muscle fiber. But I do have a nice little second win mechanic, IRL, that helps me push through that second little part of the lift. So you get to there, and you just squeeze it out. So I wasn't really worried about being able to lift it up there. I know it's going to go up, it just might take a little bit, so don't worry about it. And, and speaking of people who get a little bit scared by that second win factor, is this guy. He was really, really nice. There was hardly anybody in the gym, so really nice of him to come spot me. But don't commit gains robberies. Don't don't touch that weight, man. I got this. Let me get up there. Oh, don't touch it. Oh, he starts tapping it, man. Oh. Committing the gains robbery, but regardless that 275 felt pretty good So I went ahead and tried 315 today not my day for 315 definitely felt heavy I think in about two more weeks. I might be able to get this needed a little bit of a spot on the way up there No problem those those even assisted reps. They're in my system went ahead and tried it one more time 315 definitely feeling heavy today I'm honestly not bothered by missing 315 because I don't think it's gonna be very long until I get it I mean, here in a second, you'll see, there's my second attempt at it. Do need a little bit of a spot once again, but like I said, I think in about two weeks, that'll be no problem. And we did skip a whole 40 pounds up from 275 to 315, so drop it down to 295 here, and I think I've got this for sure. And he committed a little bit of a gains robbery once again. I told him, don't worry about it, man, I got this. Don't be lifting it past that little point that you need to lift it on your own, man. I said it might be a little bit slow on the way up, but I promise you, I'll get it up there. Let me struggle if I struggle, but I got this, so. He told him not to touch it this time. <laughs> once again, really, really thankful for him 
be in there, spot me, help me if I need it. But look at this, I got this. Don't mess with it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Let that second win kick in. That's all good. Time under tension, right? So I did hit 295. I would say I, I did that twice. I, did, I didn't need this this thought on the first one. So 295. It went up pretty slow, but I think I can I think I can improve my bench here pretty quickly with all the food I'm eating and how hard I'm working. I think that two weeks. That's like four chest days. I got this. But after my flat bench. Decided to ladder on back down from 275, did a couple sets there, did a couple sets at 225, 205, and then called it good. Hopped over here to the incline bench press. Now today, I actually tacked on a little bit of weight on the incline bench press. I really don't do a whole lot of heavy weight on the incline. I usually use the incline as like a stretch and squeeze kind of thing. But honestly, I think a lot of that is because I haven't done a whole lot of incline pressing in my workout routines ever. So I really want to start working on my incline bench. I know some people have suggested doing it first. Uh, no, no thanks. <laughs> I really like to get my flat bench in first. Helps me build my sort of focus and my intensity. Plus, it's just a lift I love and I can lift heavy on, so I like to keep that in the beginning of my workout. But, I do want to increase my, uh, my incline bench strength over time. So, I was feeling a little bit stronger today on incline bench rest, so I put a little bit of weight on there. I think, I think my incline will go up as I, as I give it some attention. Like I said, I think I have the foundation in my just pressing movements in general. It's just a matter of getting used to the incline movement in particular. Now I also did, during this particular workout, I did, I did the normal sort of uh, chest machines that I like to do. I like to do those machines for the, the extra time under tension work. And it's just exercises that I enjoy, so I did those. But a lot of you guys ask me if I do dumbbells, and I usually do dumbbells. I just don't often record them because this particular area of the gym was often really busy. You know, they got all the free weights, people standing around doing curls and whatever. But uh, for the past week or so, I've been going to the gym really, really freaking late. So there was hardly anybody there this day. So I was like, oh, let's throw some dumbbells. So starting off with some incline dumbbell presses on a, it's a really, really low incline, but I feel like that's the incline that's good for me. I'm just pressing 70s here. And just like my incline bench, I don't have a whole lot of experience doing incline dumbbells either. But they are things that I do want to incorporate, and I have been incorporating them in the past couple weeks, past couple months, actually, I'd say. So I'm, I'm getting there, I'm learning the movements, but I do use these for more of a stretch and squeeze kind of thing. Not really going for the hugest weight possible. I think, like, 70s are what I do for my shoulder presses, too, so it's really not that heavy for, like, an incline bench press. But they do allow me to get a good squeeze and a good stretch there at the bottom, so that's what I'm doing today. Just doing some 70s. I could probably bump this weight up if I wanted to. But while I'm still getting used to this movement, while I'm still trying to, you know, make that mind-muscle connection with the special upper part of my chest, still just doing a little bit lighter weight, trying to focus on getting that squeeze, getting that contraction, and then allowing it to stretch there at the bottom. Also decided to hop over here and do some flat bench dumbbell presses. I'll oftentimes do some flies with these too, maybe even just work in like a press and then a fly, or a couple flies in a row, then a press. I don't know, I'm not real strict with my, uh, with my sort of secondary exercises like these. But, uh, they definitely are good. I think, you know, if you can only do one of them, I feel like dumbbells might actually be better for your development. But I just really love barbell bench press. I don't know, there's something about it. I guess it might have just been what I started with, and I've loved it ever since, so... Hopefully you guys are enjoying these gym videos, because I really enjoy posting them for you. Keep up the great work, and thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace!